Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a retro working 6 channel small DSM2 transmitter radio using a Blade MLP 6DSM radio here. First of all I unscrew all the screws here and remove the printer circuit board as well as the stick modules from this radio and then I 3D printed case to house all the electronics. As you can see here I have the transmitter powered by lithium polymer batteries instead of four uh, AA batteries. Now for the transmitter to be able to work on this um, two cell LiPo pack you need a step down regulator and as you can see here I have a step down regulator which steps down the 7.4 volts or 8.4 volts on full charge to exactly 6 volts. The regulator here is actually the smaller version of the original MP1584 from banggood.com. So the thing is, I still prefer the MP1584, although it's bigger, because the output voltage is really stable. And this one here. is really small but the output voltage fluctuates up and down when we are using it for RF it's going to induce noise which will reduce the radio range so to curb that issue I put 1000 UF 6.3 volts capacitor on the output leads this way and after that I do get very stable voltage so if you notice the module here that I have, I have do some modifications to it. I have um, switched the mode from mode 2, which is default, mode 2 to mode 1. So now I have throttle on the right. Um, to see how I do this kind of modification, you could look at my other video. The other interesting thing to note is I actually have the three position switch here on the right hand side and I chose this radio for this project because it is a 6 channel as I mentioned and I do need 6 channels for the mini radio because I need to be able to switch between Acro, Horizon and the GPS mode and by the way the LiPo pack here is really slim if you notice these are the LiPo pack for the Airsoft air guns, and this come from Hobby King. So two of them form two cell, and the capacity is 1000 mAh, which is not too bad. To allow ease of charging, I have soldered a servo connector here. This way, I do not have to dig the lipo packs out of the case whenever I need to charge them. To charge the batteries, I do need this DIY harness. The harness transform the servo connector this way, transform it into a balance connector here, which will then go into my balance charger. As for the assembly of the case, it's really simple. As you can see, I have the front panel here with all these standoffs, and that allows me to screw on the PCB board to the front panel. And then I have the back panel here, and this piece here protruding is for the antenna, this one. So let me put together everything and then I show you how it looks like. Alright, I've put it together and this is how it looks like. I'm pretty happy with the size as you can see here it fits straight in my palm. And it's really compact compared to the original radio here. Um, let's put things into perspective. This is the original radio and this is the retro style controller. The antenna placement here also has better polarization for better range because this is vertical polarized. If you hold like this, that's vertical polarized. And as compared to the original radio, if you hold it like this, the Antenna is pointing directly forward and 
this is not very good for range because this is the now end of the radiation pattern of the 2.4 GHz radio wave. Power it on and yep, it's working. So we have the trim switches as well. Yep, the throttle. Also the flight mode switch, which is channel 6. Yep, there you have it, the retro gaming style 6 channel DSM2 small radio controller that fits in your palm. For the final finishing touch, I'm going to add a drop of hot glue here because this is a weak point of the antenna and some hot glue will strengthen it to prevent it from breaking. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and subscribe.